Welcome to HRL Laboratories, a hub of groundbreaking innovation and engineering excellence. In 1948, the renowned Howard Hughes founded Hughes Aircraft, which established Hughes Research Laboratory as its R&D center, setting the stage for decades of scientific breakthroughs. In 1960, Hughes Research Laboratory moved to its current Malibu Hilltop location overlooking the Pacific Ocean. In a historic 1985 deal, General Motors acquired Hughes for an astounding $5.2 billion, which was one of the largest acquisitions in U.S. history at the time. Later, in 1997, GM divested the Hughes defense operations to Raytheon, marking the evolution of Hughes Research Laboratories into HRL Laboratories as a limited liability company with two owners. Today, HRL is thriving, jointly owned by Boeing and GM, and continuing its legacy of innovation. HRL has been at the forefront of technological advancements, boasting a rich history of innovations. One of its most notable achievements came in 1960 with the demonstration of the world's first laser which used a synthetic ruby crystal. Physicist Dr. Theodore Maiman and his team led the breakthrough work at the Malibu facility. HRL's Malibu location is home to a state-of-the-art 10,000-square-foot Class 10 clean room completed in 1988. Originally designed to produce space-qualified indium phosphide high-electron mobility transistor low-noise amplifiers for Hughes Satellite Communications, now part of Boeing. Early work with indium phosphide paved the way for HRL to develop heterojunction bipolar transistor technology for mixed signal circuits, including analog to digital converters. The HRL Delta Sigma modulator is a bandpass data converter that dramatically improved the capabilities of the F-18 radar system. For the past 20 years, HRL has delivered flight-qualified Delta Sigma modulator components for airborne radar systems. HRL's clean rooms also produce ISO 9001 certified semiconductor wafers with AS9100 certification for infrared sensor products used in aerospace and defense applications. In 1999, the HRL clean room began working with gallium nitride for high-power radio frequency amplification, setting numerous records for device operating frequency, amplifier efficiency, noise figure, and linearity. By 2006, HRL expanded its infrared technology expertise from material development to creating sophisticated device and focal plane arrays, and later fabricating front-end detector wafers for large-format infrared focal plane arrays. The clean room continues to be instrumental in developing key technologies for MEMS, inertial measurement units, and advanced 3D electronics packaging, among other cutting-edge applications. Shifting focus from the clean room, let's look at HRL's materials innovations over the years. In the early 2000s, HRL recognized that innovative architecture could dramatically improve homogeneous materials performance, unlocking new potentials in structural, thermal, and electronic materials. This insight led to the development of the microtruss, heralded as the world's lightest material. Microlattice development started in the mid-2000s as part of a government project to improve soldier protective systems. Today, the innovation appears in NFL football helmets, providing superior shock absorption compared to traditional sports gear materials. The innovative light casting method used to create these microlattices is also applied to additively manufactured ceramics. HRL's work with architected materials has even transformed metal powders for 3D printing making previously unweldable metal compositions now printable. HRL's contributions to quantum technologies are equally remarkable. In 2001, under DARPA funding, HRL pioneered spin-based quantum devices in semiconductors, a foundational step in quantum research. Today, HRL is intensifying efforts in quantum technology with spin-based qubits as a key pillar of its research. HRL also has significant efforts in quantum-based precision timing and quantum sensing, further cementing HRL's role in the quantum revolution. Finally, let's take a look at HRL's milestones in intelligent systems and autonomy. In 1987, HRL tested the world's first autonomous land vehicle, which successfully operated independently over 600 meters through rough terrain. 
Between 1999 and 2004, the Pheromone Robotics Project successfully developed a means to control extremely large numbers of very small robots in a decentralized, swarm-like fashion, producing a variety of group behaviors that could perform useful tasks such as surveillance, reconnaissance, hazard detection, and pathfinding. HRL's research and operational autonomy focuses on creating robust, fast, and scalable technologies for unpredictable environments with safety, security, and trustworthiness in its deployment. One notable example is the High Assurance Cyber Military Systems Program for DARPA, designed for autonomous vehicles to withstand malicious attacks and programming errors. Intelligent systems took to the skies, where HRL's vision-based receiver 3D pose estimation capability from a single camera supported flight demonstrations of autonomous boom aerial refueling. At the heart of HRL Laboratories are its talented employees who tackle some of the most complex challenges alongside some of the brightest minds in science and engineering. The company culture is defined by a commitment to innovation and collaboration propelled by a results-driven mindset. Built on the principles of limitless possibilities and a commitment to excellence, HRL's culture nurtures creativity and a relentless drive for progress. Every member of the HRL team shares a passion for pushing boundaries and making a lasting impact, fueling the company's success today and paving the way for future breakthroughs.